Hey everyone, it's Crispy Patty. Look at this book, Manners Time. That's right, time to learn a, some manners. Please, thank you, no thank you, may I be excused. All those things that are very important, right? Uh, written by Elizabeth Burdick and illustrated by Marika Henlon. All right, let's jump into it. Manners start here with a smile. Then you add the words. Oh my goodness, this is a great book already. I have to conclude that uh, as an adult, someone much older than you kids, um, a smile is the best thing in the world when you share that with someone. You can make friends, you can open doors, you can you can make things happen when you smile. Smiling is way better than a scream or a yell uh, or tears. But that doesn't mean that tears and yelling and screaming is bad necessarily. I mean, we all have bad days and bad episodes or maybe you, you got a boo-boo or you stubbed your toe or, you know, your goldfish decided to pass on to heaven and you're sad but with manners screaming will not help a smile will definitely help all right here we are hello is how you greet someone do a little wave you do a little side wave like he's doing so you walk into your classroom and you don't know anyone there how do you make friends you start with a hello. Maybe you don't even know the teacher that you have. You've never met them. How do you become friends with them or introduce yourself? You say hello and that's how it starts. Hello is the first word to begin introducing yourself. Look the person in the eye when you say goodbye. All right now here we are this guy on the right with mom. Looks like mom's picked him up. They had a, bl a play date. They hung out and had some good times. Cats even there. And when you say goodbye, it's important, like this says, is to look them in the eye because you had a special time with them and you want to let them know and eyes connect people, you know? Hands don't have eyes. So when the eyes connect, you connect. And when you say goodbye, it's special. Whenever you ask, please say, please. Oh my goodness. As a teacher, please, thank you, are the two most special words even if you say them all the time, every time, never get used too much. It is so good and so important and so friendly and so kind and so nice to always say please. It will open doors for you. It will give you things that you would never think of. Please is the key word to remember forever and thank you is the end of that please sentence please can I have some more cereal thank you mom dad for the cereal and then of course I okay, love you first of all that puppy is super cute look at that puppy it's wearing a hat his tongue is out. I want to squeeze him. All right. Thank you tells others we're grateful. You're welcome is what we say back. Aww. So it looks like the, the kid on the left is having his birthday party. He has invited his friends and got their hands up in the air. They've got their balloons and the dog's even happy and and the polite and the right thing to say 
is when your friend brings you a gift. You say, thank you. And the other friend says, you're welcome. It's like, oh my goodness, you thought of me. You brought something. You didn't really have to. And you did. And I am so grateful. I'm so happy and so much appreciative that you did. I say thank you, and those are the words to express your feelings. And you're welcome, from the two kids on the right, means thank you for saying thank you, and you're welcome, meaning of course I would bring you a gift because I'm your friend and I'm so happy to be your friend, and thank you for saying thank you. And I'm so happy we're together in this room having a birthday party. So where's the cake? Here's a nice way to say no. No, thank you. A smile helps. Okay, so she's passing. Looks like a salad to this person on the right. And this person says, no, thank you, with a smile. So, the, this person doesn't want the salad, but if they say no thank you, sometimes the person who has the salad feels bad. Like, oh, you don't want this salad. Oh, but I made it. Or, it's a special salad. But this person smiles and says no thank you, meaning he's, this person's being polite. He says, I don't want this salad. And that's all. That's it. And you say, okay. He's being very polite because he might be allergic to some food in the salad. Maybe he's on a Atkins diet and, you know, he's only able to eat protein and no salads. Maybe he only eats organic leaves. Maybe he just doesn't feel like he's ready to eat a salad so this girl will not be sad because he says no so he adds no thank you and it is being polite if you oops bump into someone or sneeze cough or burp or <coughs> say excuse me that's right and then even a sorry is good too. So if you bump into someone, oh, sorry, excuse me, or you sneeze, achoo, and you weren't expecting it, or a cop, <coughs> or a burp, oh, I can't do that, <coughs> I can't do that. You say, excuse me, and then you say, I'm sorry, and that makes everyone know that you know that it happened but you didn't mean it to happen and that you feel bad and you don't want anybody sad and so you say excuse me oh snap whenever you make a mistake say i'm sorry so in this picture it looks like this person accidentally while they were playing accidentally means that while they were playing this truck just broke it doesn't mean that the person tried to break it or maybe they did but it just did the the truck broke could have been really old could have been dirty it it just maybe wasn't supposed to play in the dirt but it it broke and so this person says to her and says i'm sorry which means is i'm i'm i know it happened and you're probably sad and i'm sorry means i hope it's like a hug it's like giving that person a hug in words oh my gosh I forgive you means that's okay. Now how about a hug? Oh, 
See, I don't read these books until I read them to you. Because I want to read them the first time with you. And so isn't that cute and funny that I said it? I'm sorry, it's like a hug. And here we are. I forgive you means that's okay. How about a hug? It's just so nice when someone says, Hey, I broke something. I didn't try to, but it just happened. And you say, I'm sorry. And then you say, that's okay. And how about a hug? Because the friendship is so important. More than a truck or a shovel, or anything. The friendship is the most important thing. The words, good job, can put a smile on someone's face. Try them. So this boy on the right drew this picture, and it doesn't matter if this person in the red shirt thinks it's good or not. Most of the time, you should say good job, because Maybe you're an artist and you're really good at drawing and you maybe be able to draw something even better than this person in the green jacket. But this green person, or green jacket, <laughs> this green person, this guy in the green jacket is very happy of what this, he drew. And so you want to say good job because it puts a smile on their face. It makes them happy. And that is good. You would not want to say, Oh, that's not very good. Or, I'm better than that. Look at my drawing. It makes them sad. So just say, Good job! And it puts a smile on their face. Just try it. <laughs> wow, you have good manners. Good job! That's right. Very good. Whoa, look at this. Lots of stuff. So you could probably pause this with your teacher or caregivers or parents, but I will read it anyways, just in case. Manners, manners tips for parents and caregivers. Toddlers who get a head start on manners are learning social skills that will help them all their lives but remember, at this age, children tend to be messy, silly, outspoken, and impulsive, which is part of what makes them so irresistible. Set age-appropriate expectations for their etiquette and begin with the basics. Help your child get the words out. It can be tough for a toddler to remember to say please, thank you, hello, or goodbye. Offer friendly reminders. Let's be sure to thank Grandma for your new toy. Time to give a goodbye wave to remind a child to say, please ask, what's the magic word? Be a role model. Toddlers are like sponges. They soak up what they see and hear. So let them hear what you hear you saying, please, thank you, no thank you, excuse me, and other courteous phrases. The family table is a wonderful place to practice. Let them see you write and send thank you notes too. Your own polite behavior will continually reinforce the lessons you're trying to teach. Work on apologies. Toddlers have lots of chances every day to practice saying, I'm sorry, when they accidentally hurt a friend or grab a toy from a sibling's hands, gently step in and model how to say, I'm sorry. Let the other child know that the other words, I forgive you, can help make everything, everyone feel better. Teach the many uses of excuse me. Young children typically think body noises are to be followed by fits of giggles. Encourage saying, excuse me, instead. Also help toddlers remember to say, excuse me, if they need to pass by someone if they mistakenly run into another person, or if they need to interrupt a conversation to get help from an adult. This all-purpose phrase sure comes in handy. Help people or help children cheer each other on. Everyone likes to hear a good job now and then, especially young 
children who need encouragement as they learn and grow. Notice and praise good behavior and manners. Encourage toddlers to say, way to go, and give high fives to friends and peers too. Promote kindness and respect. Why do we teach manners? Because they make life better for all of us by encouraging us to be kind and respectful toward one another. Show your toddler that words matter. They have the power to make someone feel noticed, appreciative, special. Manners, words, children learn from this book are only the beginning but they set the stage for the social skills and social graces that are yet to come. Wow. I think that's it. That is it. Well, I sure hope you appreciated and were grateful and thankful for this book. I really enjoyed it. And I remember my mom coming back from a teacher conference from when I was in third grade. So I was like nine or 10. And she said, the teacher said that I always said please and thank you. And that is what really impressed her about me. Wow, right? And I have noticed in my lifetime, when I say please and thank you, even though you think everyone says it, not everyone does. And when you use those words, special things happen for you. Thanks, it's Crispy Patty. Hey, have fun. Keep going on adventures. Get outside. Go explore the wild and nature. And I'll see you next time. And if you enjoyed this book, give a thumbs up. Subscribe, share, comment, and we'll see you later. And again, thank you very much. And please join me next book and tell your mom and dad, please may I have some more or please may I do this. And thank you for that. And no thank you for that. All right. Bye.